So in today's video, we are going to be doing a 2016-2017 Oklahoma City Thunder rebuild. And this is really just because Kevin Durant decided to bring his talents elsewhere. Now, obviously, I, I'm pretty sure everyone can agree with me here that if Kevin Durant didn't leave the Thunder, we're going to be a top three team in the league. Obviously, it's probably Warriors, Cavs, and Thunder. I, that's pretty much obvious. But Kevin Durant decided to leave. That's not my main point of this video. I've made a couple other videos about that. But uh, I believe this is going to be the only video I do rebuilding a 16-17 team. I'm just going to wait till 2K17, honestly. It's like, what, probably two, three months away at this point. So I can wait. I can make other videos just until then. So, taking a look at this roster, it's a, it's a little bit shaky. Like, you went, 2K went from absolutely loving the Thunder till next year. Like, who's going to beat this? Like, it's honestly, it's probably impossible for me to beat this. But, you know what? I got to give it my best effort. So, whoever made this roster, I believe it's Professor 2K over on the Xbox One. Uh, it's a really good roster. Uh, it's like the, one of the top downloaded ones now just because everyone wants to use the new teams that are going to be out in 2K17. So, we look at this roster. We do have Enos Cantor, who is on a pretty expensive deal for someone who's not, I mean, really that great, obviously. Uh, Oladipo is on a cheap deal, one-year deal, $5 million. He's well worth the $5 million just because he's going to be a good shooting guard. And then we have Roberson backing him up. We actually might change. I'm actually going to change Roberson to a small forward just because we have waiters coming off as a shooting guard as well so if i change him i'm pretty sure that his overall will go up because i feel like most of his attributes are more towards a small forward than a shooting guard so let's just change this to small forward and put this back at shooting guard and i believe he goes up yeah he goes up to a 78 okay that that is pretty good because that like that does that kind of screws up the rotations a little bit but now that we have him starting instead of what Anthony Mora was it? Yeah, Anthony Mora was our only other small forward, and Kyle Singler, who I definitely need to look to move just to clear up some more cap space. But I'm not going to change too much this first season just because I don't really see feel like a need to. Just because we're still going to make the playoffs, just because Ross is going to probably carry this team, more than likely going to end up probably winning MVP. But let's just see uh, who else did I want to trade on this team? I wanted who has a heavy, hefty contract that I was not looking to have. Uh, everyone on the team's on one-year deals. That's not too great. I mean, we have Cameron Payne locked up. He's going to be a good backup point guard for us. I know many people that do this, they trade Russ. I personally, I'm not going to trade him because he is on a two-year deal because it still has his current contract. So it's counting the 2015, 2016 season and then the season after that. So I'm not going to move him just because he's already locked up, even though this would be only a one year deal technically, but no reason to move him. Uh, I'm going to move you just because Josh Hoistes. Oh, what an awesome deal. Thank you, Milwaukee. Um, who? Ooh, oh, never mind. I'm not giving you my pick. Um, I don't want to give you my pick. Honestly, perfect. Thank you. Give me a pick to a second round pick that can have some value and look at the rotation doesn't even change. So let's continue moving this along. Um, Feliciano, no. Yes, have to move Kyle Sink. I don't know if this is even a, like a correct contract, but that's, this is honestly probably the deal I'm going to end up taking if there's nothing else. Oh, uh, let's see. Ooh, Hansbro could be. I'm probably going to do Hansbro actually. Uh, no, not Anthony Brown. Uh, yeah, let's take Hansbro and just because I'm not going to re-sign him after this year unless he has like a team option, which he does not. We clear up cap space and I don't, I mean, he's not going to play, so it really doesn't matter. Wait, was he playing? Why? I don't think Tyler Hansbro should be playing. I'm sorry. Uh, who can I get? Jesus, I don't even like have anyone to give these minutes to. All right, I guess I'll just give him tomorrow just because I'll just play him. I know he's probably not the best option for us, but... He can just play just because I'm just gonna. I need a backup small forward, honestly. Uh, anyone else have a contract, have an issue? Nick Carlson, three, and I'm not mad about that, really. So, you literally have to bring back everyone but like Cantor and Russ. And I will see you guys at the end of the season. Actually, I'm gonna get the Wizards pick first. I don't know if they're gonna do bad just because the teams are updated, but okay. oh, so how the hell is Marcin Gortat in 81? I was discussing this the other day. I just no, he's not an 81 overall. But let's try to get the Wizards first round pick. You're not getting some bonus, Ola Uh, no, I don't want even want Jan Mahimi. You guys, I'll just I'll just give you second round picks. Just take it, honestly. Just take it. Just stop. All right, might not be worth it, but if it lands me like a Josh Jackson or Harry Giles, it will be well worth it. And I'll see you guys at the end of season number one. So at the end of season number one, LeBron James wins the MVP award, averaging 22.5 points a game, 
nine rebounds, nine assists, one and a half steals, and two blocks. Carl Anthony Towns wins the Rookie of the Year award. However, it wouldn't be this set of rookies. It would be like the Ben Simmons, Brandon Ingram, all of them. So it's not really real. Brandon Jennings wins Sixth Man of the Year award on the New York Knicks, which actually just happened in real life. DeAndre Jordan wins Defensive Player of the Year. CJ McCollum wins Most Improved. And Steve Kerr wins Coach of the Year. As the Warriors actually only go 62 and 20, which is obviously good enough for first in the Western Conference, but surprisingly did not even beat their own record even though you added a top three player in the nba so russell westbrook sorry does make the all nba first team uh, i'll show you his stats after this probably not any other thunder uh westbrook makes the all defensive second team any more thunder not seeing it so in round number one we did make the playoffs obviously and we went 54 and 28 not bad at all not a bad year for someone who only really had one superstar in the western conference which is very tough to compete in if you don't really have anyone who's too great but player stats on the year russell westbrook 23 points a game eight and a half rebounds and nine assists that those stats were better more than yeah they were better than lebron's i'm pretty sure so he probably should have won mvp but can't do anything about that can't actually with 15 and 10 so we averaged a double double pretty good stats uh steven adams not terrible double double as well Ilya sova eh, it's not too great I mean, he is coming off the bench though oladipo would like to see more but the Memphis Grizzlies, let's check out who they have on their roster. Um, they have Gasol, Connolly, who it's a beautiful contract for someone who's never made an all-star game. Zach Randolph, Chandler Parsons, Tony Allen. So this is a good a good six seed. Uh, I'm not going to lie, we do lose game number one. Uh, I'm not really too mad about it. All right, we're down to nothing. What's, what's wrong with this team? Whoa, the rotations just changed a lot. Was Cameron Payne starting? Oh, what? All right, I don't know why I thought he was starting for a second. I'm just going to leave it. Uh, I'm just going to... Oops, no. The only thing I'm going to do is just set that as Westbrook, just to make sure. All right, are we really down? All right, 3-1. 3-2. All right, we get eliminated, and the Spurs get eliminated, but okay. I bet the Warriors beat the Cavs. Or the Heat. Okay, they beat the Heat. Somehow the Heat swept the Cavs. I don't... That makes absolutely no sense. But Stephen Curry is your finals MVP as in four games and in 35 minutes. Average 34 points a game. Six and a half assists, five rebounds, three steals, and two and a half turnovers. Um, let's see if the Wizards did back bad. I don't even know if uh, did the Wizards do bad. I really, I didn't even look if they made the playoffs or not. I really hope they did. Oh no, I didn't. All right, I just jumped into it anyways. Uh, I could just. Are you kidding me? They did good. All right. What, what can I get for both of these picks? Can I get like fifteen? Maybe. I can get Dragon Bender. Honestly, I'll do this. I just, I just don't want Tyson Chandler. How about if you give me a second round pick? All right, I'll take Dragon Bender. Honestly, I'm not even mad about that. But, I mean, I t we got a good small, a good young power forward, and that means I just don't have to bring back the ones that are going to be more expensive because Dragon Bender is only like 18 years old. So. I'm not even mad about that at all, but I wish we had the first pick. We we can't always get it, however. We did have a second round pick, not going to sign him, but Adams is coming back definitely. Same with Old Depot as a team option, really? That might not be real, but I don't know. Ilya Silva for 8, no. Moro, not bring, I don't even want him. And I'll bring him Felicio back just as a roster spot, but okay, everyone accepted. They're all team options. I don't, I don't think all these are team options. These might be wrong. All right, I'm going to save our money for now. See who made it to free agency. What the hell? How how do you expect me to re... Uh, honestly, how many players do I have on my team right now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have 9 players. So we have to sign like 4 players. Give me like 4... Do I have bird rights on anyone? Give me Ilya Sova back. Because honestly, I'm just going to wait till next year's free agency to like save the cap. Because Dean Waiters isn't going to go anywhere. Yeah. All right, we have, how many players did that say? Uh, what do we need? Point guard, we're good with Payne and Westbrook. Shooting guard, we're good with Waiters and Oladipo. Uh, we need a backup small forward. We are definitely good at power forward. We're gonna have to trade some of these guys. And then center, we are good. I'm, I'm gonna move Cantor back to a center, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. Just because I'd rather have two centers and then just, I'll move one of the power forwards and only have two power forwards. It makes more sense to me rather than have four and just one uh, center and then power forward just in case you actually have to play. 
Canters. All right, he only went down one overall. I'm not too mad about that, but I'm going to move probably Nick Collison. Maybe just get a backup small forward if I can't get one right here. Uh, not really seeing any small forwards, though. I mean, Terrence Ross isn't bad. Could I get you for six in a player? All right, we got Terrence Ross locked up. That's a good acquisition, I feel like. Um, I don't really need any. I don't need a big man at all. Honestly, uh, Livingston, if he wants to come on that. All right, he, he'll come on that. I don't really need it, anything else, really. I mean, I'm fine with this. But Russell Westbrook is a 97 overall. Victor Oladipo is an 82. Adams is an 81. Cantor's an 81. Roberson actually went up to an 80, so that is, that's really good to see. So I'm going to make some trades for the start of season number two, and I'll see you guys with those trades. So the only trade that is going to be happening, I believe, for season number one is sending Nick Collison and our 2019 first round pick to the Philadelphia 76ers for Jeremy Grant. Uh, good trade for us. He might not score as much as we need him to. Uh, is he even going to get any minutes? I don't even think he's going to get any minutes. So it's really not even going to matter. It just clears up our power forward position where there was a complete log jam. But um, I'm actually going to see what I can get for Sean Livingston just because I don't need three point guards all getting minutes i really only need like two um and no no i'll just honestly i'll probably just take this first round pick if there's nothing what the hell um i might do that honestly you know what let's oh what's his contract actually yeah, no, I'm not looking for that contract. I'll just dump a little more cap and I'll save it. Honestly, it might have been a good idea when I thought about it at first. And I was like, eh, all right, maybe. And then, no. All right, I'm going to give Ilya Silva some minutes. We're just going to run, nope, a 10-man rotation. Uh, nope, Ilya Silva's getting your... Okay, there we go. Okay, that fixes that. Rotation's pretty much all set. Nothing really to do with the for the start of Season 2. I guess I'll see you guys where hopefully we can... Maybe compete with the Warriors. So at the end of season number two, our old friend Kevin Durant wins the MVP award, averaging 24 points a game, nine rebounds, six assists, and one and a half steals with two blocks. Honestly, I bet Russell Westbrook's stats are better. So I'm going to look at that, and I think he probably should have won. But Harry Giles does win the Rookie of the Year award for the Sacramento Kings. Brandon Knight wins Sixth Man of the Year. DeAndre Jordan, who's made his way over to Boston, probably being traded for Al Horford, which is just so stupid. Chris Dunn wins Most Improved. Uh... I'm not going to look at his stats, honestly. And Steve Kerr wins Coach of the Year. As the Warriors go 68 and 14, we're not gonna do, they're going to do way better in real life than they do here. But that was good enough for first in the Western Conference. So let's see, how how does Russell Westbrook not make an All-NBA first team? He doesn't make an All-NBA anything. Okay, yeah, that's, that's real realistic right there. And we don't have anyone because we didn't have any draft picks. Okay, cool, that's realistic. But we did have the second best record in the Western Conference of 53 and 29. Not mad about that at all. Player stats in the year. All right. Maybe his stats weren't quite as good as last year, quite as good as Kevin Durant's. But they were good for someone who has to take charge of a team. Uh, really just without any choice. So Oladipo, not bad stats for him at all. Steven Adams. I might look to move Oladipo after this season. Actually, I can't. His contract's over, isn't it? I'm pretty sure his contract's over. Damn, maybe I should look to move him earlier. But Robes is not putting up what I need him to, really. Or well, we're taking on the Clippers in round number one, who don't have DeAndre Jordan anymore because they traded him for, like, Al Horford, which is really stupid. Yeah, great trade. You literally took in way more money in a Wars player. Real smart. Okay, we win game number one. Let's see if we make it finally out of the first round. All right, we're up 3 nothing. Let's just end the round. We move on in four games. I didn't even do the rotation. Oh, damn, what just happened there? All right, fine. You know what? I'm just going to listen to it just because... And no, I need power forward. I need a power forward getting minutes. How many Russ playing? Russ is playing 38. I kind of need him to play 40, but I'm not going to try to screw with anything. But the Portland Trailblazers in round number two. I, what? How is he an 83 overall? He's 33 years old and he looks... I don't even know. He looked oh, so weird. Okay. We're up one nothing on the Trailblazers. We're up 2 nothing. We're up 2-1. I'm going to send... The, eh. All right. Oh, my God. GG. <sighs> Let's just see who. Oh my God, how can you afford this? How can you possibly afford this? Because the salary cap doesn't go up in the game like it does in real life. 
All right. Yeah. GG to the rest of the league, honestly. I just want to see if we can sneak out a game on them. Probably not going to happen. I'm going to listen to the, this the um, CPU to see what it wants me to do. And are we really going to get swept? Nine? Nope. 3-1. Okay. I thought the... Oh, my God. I thought the 76ers would just be... Okay. Duran is your finals MVP. Honestly, I'll do one more season, but I don't think we have really any chance of beating them. Uh, let's just sim to the draft. Hopefully the Jazz did bad, honestly, because we did trade their pick. Or we did trade... Uh, who did we trade? Sean Livingston for... Oh, we have the fourth pick. Okay. I got to move up to try to get Bull Bull or um, Sharif O'Neal. And I'll see you... Actually, no, I'll just hop in the draft with you guys, so why not? Okay. What I have to do here... I have to move over to the third pick. Whoever has it. Three. Who has three? I know someone has three. Rockets. No. 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 All of these are absolute ass. I'm not giving you this. I'm not giving you Ursan Elias over for... Alright, you know what? If I'm going to do this, I got to go all in. I got to get the second pick. Because then at least... Alright, proposed trade... Pros trade for then because I'll just dump all my picks. This is the last year. Is that two? First round? Yep, this is two. Counter offer Ben Macklemore from Marco Bellinelli. Can you just take him without? No, nah, damn it. All right, take these second round picks. Will you do this? They seem no. Take this. You'll do this. You're not getting Dragon Bender for Nicholas Batum. Ugh, GG. All right, honestly. You know what? I'll just do it. It's a little bit more money, but it's going to get us to get the second pick. And now we no longer have to deal with our son, Elias Ove, not even playing. We get a point guard who I'm just probably going to trade, but might have some value. You never even know. So let's see how we how this goes. Um, I would rather have Bull Bull, but I bet they're going to take him just because I said that. Yep. Okay. You know what? I tried. I'll take Sharif O'Neal, honestly, unless they get a better offer. Or they offer me Bull Bull because 2K is broken and we'll sometimes do that. But let's just take a look at some of the offers. Might as well. Bull Bull seems like an animal. I know Sharif O'Neal's not... I don't think he's like 7 feet like his dad. Um, I'm pretty sure he's only like 6'8", six, 6'9", six, maybe even 6'7". I don't know. Let's see what the Thunder have to... Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay, I'm probably going to end up taking that, honestly, because we're all set at center already. Uh, are they offering Bull Bull or no? Wait, did I just... Wait, never mind. Uh, are they going to offer Bull Bull? Who was it? Okay, I'm sorry. I have to, I'm sorry. I, I have to take that deal. All right, I'll see you guys at Rookie Signings. All right, we know Rookie, so I'm just going to send past Rookie Signings here. Team player options, definitely going to bring back both of these guys. Okay, so Kevin Durant might be here, Chris Paul might be here, Blake Griffin might be here. They're probably not going to be here, but... Oh, I forgot about Westbrook. I'm an idiot. Alright, if he doesn't come back, man, honestly, this is just stupid. I'm going to offer that. Oh, I should have offered Adams one. Alright, we get them both. I'm not going to bring him back right now. Just going to see who's here. Okay. Damn it. I am not. I wasn't probably going to bring him anyways, but... I would have liked Chris Paul... He's not, look, he doesn't think we're a championship team, so he's not going to take it cheaper. Damn, we have, okay, we have to get Oladipo back, and we have to get Roberson back. We are in trouble if we don't get them both back, because I have to move them. What are you, Oladipo, come back. Stop it. Stop playing. Okay, do we burn out to anyone else? Oh, Steven Adams, I forgot. Did we lose Cantor? I feel like we might have lost Cantor. All right, we get Steven Adams locked back. I hope that's 13 players, honestly. All right, Feliciano comes back. This team, I have to make some moves just because Westbrook's obviously our point guard, not going anywhere. Simmons, I'm probably going to keep. Oladipo, I might move. And then Cantor, Adams, I might move. And then I'm going to move Roberson just because he's too good of a small forward. And then we have Simmons. So I will see you guys at the end. Uh, no, with some trade before the start of season number three. The first trade that I'm going to be doing in the offseason is getting Buddy healed from the New Orleans Pelicans. We're going to send Victor Oladipo and Jeremy Grant over there. We also pick up each one more, so not bad at all for us. Uh, looking at this rotation, it's still not great just because we have so many small forwards. So what I'm going to do, if we sort by position, we can't have Ramon Sessions on the team, as I said earlier, just because he wants to get minutes. I don't want to give him minutes. 
Uh, we need like kind of a power for not a power forward. Um, let's see. What the hell? All right. Honestly, I'd be an idiot not to accept this. Okay, that's much better looking right now. Uh, I'm gonna see what I can get for Roberson. If I, it's nothing great and he can just come off the bench, I'm gonna do that. Let's see what we can get. Um, not not looking like much. Okay, I'm just gonna leave this team the way it is. I'll see you guys at the end of season number three. So I didn't even realize this, but Kevin Durant signed with the 76ers. He didn't go back to Golden State. He went to Philadelphia. But honestly, they're probably super team now because they don't have Ben Simmons anymore. They drafted who? They drafted what? Uh, Sharif O'Neal. They have Jaleel Okafor. Who knows if they have a point guard? Bull Bull wins Rookie of the Year. Eric Bledsoe, sixth man. Anthony Davis, defensive player. How old is he? Oh, he's only 25 here. Sheldon Mack, most improved. And Lloyd P Pierce wins Coach of the Year as the 76ers go 65-17. and 17. Damn, okay. Westbrook does make the All-NBA first team, though. Any more thunder on these? Probably not, because we're a pretty average team, I feel like. Westbrook makes the All-Defensive second team. We had no rookies. So, 62-20 and 20 was good enough for, I believe, second in the NBA. Not uh, That's not terrible. And then, but player stats on the year, uh, well, not a bad year at all. Pretty average year, actually. Points was really spread out. We had one, two, three, four, five, six players that scored in double digits. And then these two just were monsters on the board. And then assist was Westbrook with nine. So we are taking on the New Orleans Pelicans, who we did get Buddy Heald from in round number one. Actually, I want to see the 76ers. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. All right, we're probably going to lose to this team, honestly. Uh, who are we taking on? Pelican? Did I say Pelicans? I believe it's the Pelican. This is their team. Yeah, we traded Victor Oladipo to them. That is who it is. We pick up a winning game. One. We're up two. I'm just going to send the round. I'm confident. All right. I say that. and we're. Is it going to go to a game seven? No, it does not. We're taking on the Golden State Warriors, who are still going to be good because they still have their, their big three. Uh, I just switched up the rotations a little bit. Well, let's go check out the Warriors roster. Pretty much the same as it is like last year, really, in real life. But we are up one nothing on this team. We beat them like three times regular season. Sim this, and we are moving on to face the three seeded Dallas Mavericks, who did have Dallas Mavericks, who did have the first pick last year. So I don't know how they just. All right, how the hell is this team a three seed? Honestly, we're gonna sweep them. All right. Wow. Of course, picture perfect ending. We have to play Kevin Durant, but of course he's not on the Warriors because we can't play another Western Conference team in the finals. But. Their starting lineup is KD, Okafor, Sharif O'Neal, Dennis Smith, and are they, are they running Chucky Blackwell? At no, they're not. So they're running. I don't know who those are doing because they're not getting any like massive minutes. But we gotta face KD. Actually, I'm just gonna rebuild this rotation. See what 2K says it should be. Everyone on this team is hot, or at least okay, not like that. But this should this should do it, man. This comes down to it. We win game one. We win game two, 2-1, two, 3-1, one. 3-2, three, one. Three, all right, not gonna, I don't wanna risk a game seven. Simcast, come on, man, pull it out. We're in Oklahoma City, come on, we're going back and forth, and we're gonna win. I did it. I don't feel that accomplished because Katie's not on the Warriors, but Russell Westbrook is your finals MVP in six games in 33 minutes, average 15 points a game, five and a half rebounds, eight assists, so, I mean, this was this was fun to do. I'm not gonna do any more teams on uh, with these rosters. Probably not, just because it's kind of. I'm just gonna save for 2K17. Just gonna kind of get repetitive at some point. But Russell Westbrook, Ben Simmons, Enos Cantor, Buddy Heal, Stephen Adams, Julius Randle, Andre Roberson, Cameron Payne, Dragon Bender, Terrence Ross, Dion Waiters, Ben Malcolmore, Etwan Moore, Brandon Dawson, and Cristiano Felicio, who should have been the Finals MVP if you didn't know, led this team. Uh, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to like down below. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I post 2K videos, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.